So it's been a few weeks since I bought my first foldable phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And so today I'll be going through a few customizations I've done on it, including the lock screen, home screen, changing icons and some other stuff. Hope you enjoy the video. As usual, all the links will be in the description below, so feel free to check them out and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Let's start off with the keyboard. To be honest, it's not my favorite keyboard in terms of utility, but it makes up for it in terms of its aesthetic, which is pretty important to me. So even though I'm probably a little bit more accurate on SwiftKey, I still prefer to use the Samsung keyboard just because of the cool animations and sound effects. The next good lock application we're going to be using is called Theme Park, and we're just going to be using the feature that allows us to customize the icons. There's a lot more customization you can do, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be keeping it short and changing my icons. Next, we'll go over the notification panel, which is also found in Theme Park. We can customize both the light and dark themes in this editor. So let's start do some actual theming on the home screen. I'm going to start off by choosing one of my favorite wallpaper apps and go from there. For the last section of this video, I'm just going to be speeding through creating my home screen itself. And I thought I would just speed things up and condense it into a summary form because the actual process is quite time consuming and the actual raw footage is probably like 30 minutes. So it's about as entertaining as watching paint dry. So I thought it would be a bit more fun if I went through and explained my thought process about choosing my widgets. And pretty much what I do is I scroll through the KWGT widget catalog and piece together what I think will look cohesive and look good overall. And if it doesn't work out then I just pretty much go through again and iterate through this process over and over again until I get something that fits well together and looks good. In terms of editing, I pretty much have to resize and rename things as appropriate and that's just a matter of going into the settings of KW KWGT and then basically formatting things as needed. Um, sometimes you basically need to go through the variables and kind of change things there. And pretty much at the end of the day, it's something that you want to play around with and find something that you like yourself. Of course, if you do like the look and feel that I've made in this video, you can always look back at the description and I've linked all the relevant widgets there so you can recreate this look pretty easily.
As you can see, the hardest part of customizing these widgets is to make sure that they fit properly on the screen and all the configuration that goes around to it. It's just one of those things that you need to set aside some time to, because the more effort you put in, the better it looks at the end of the day. And it's really satisfying to see the end output, especially when it turns out really nice. The last thing I'm going to cover today is how to customize the lock screen to have an animated background. For this, you just need an animated either video or picture in a, in a GIF or GIF format, and then you just need to crop it appropriately into the restricted time zone. If you like this type of video, I have a few couple other tutorials on my channel customizing Notion as well as other Samsung aesthetic tutorials, so go and check them out. If not, I'll be posting more videos probably pretty frequently, been a bit busy. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. See ya!